Microsoft to do is a free Get Things Done app that anyone with a Microsoft account can use on any device. It is available on Windows, Android, Mac OS, iPad OS, and iOS. It also comes with the web version if you ever need that. This review focuses on the iPad version of Microsoft To Do. Hey guys, it's Uncle Dan back with Paperless X. Make sure you subscribe for more content like this. Microsoft To Do has a sidebar on the left for navigating the app and a bigger right column for your lists. You can start adding your tasks at the bottom of the screen. For each new to-do, you can save the task for today. Set a reminder for later today, tomorrow, next week, or pick a date and time for more control over the date you set for your task. You can set a due date, which has similar options you get for your reminders. You can tap the task to add more details, like add step to create subtasks. Microsoft To Do displays the number of subtasks below your main task. You can repeat the task daily, weekly, weekdays, monthly, yearly, or customize to repeat every certain number of days, weeks, Monthly and yearly repeats are too simple, they feel incomplete. You can also add files from photo library, camera, and files to add photos, PDFs, videos, or audio files to your tasks. The maximum files you can add should not exceed 25 megabytes altogether. You can add note if there are details you need to remember about completing the task. You can style your to-do to add to the important smart list on the sidebar. You can create a new list to add to a sidebar. You can then name it, pick a background color for it from 14 options. If you find the colors too plain, you can pick a photo from 9 available ones. The three dots icon lets you edit your list to rename list, Edit with options to select all. Move task to different lists. Set to date or delete. You can move list to a new group or remove from group. You can also sort your tasks. Change theme to pick a different background. You can print list, send a copy, or delete list. As you complete your tasks, the app strikes out and moves them to the bottom. You can choose to show or hide your completed tasks. In Microsoft To Do, lists contain tasks, and groups are a collection of lists. You can create groups in the app. You can then name your group and choose lists to add to it. This only shows lists that are not in groups already. You can also drag and drop a list to a group. The three dots icon next to the group name lets you add or remove lists. Rename group or ungroup list to ungroup the list and delete the group. You can collaborate on lists in Microsoft To Do. The app lets you invite via a link to give anyone with a Microsoft account to join and edit the list. Manage access is an option to limit access to the current members, which will prevent new members from joining the list. You can also stop sharing to remove all the members from your list. Collaborating allows you to assign tasks to different people. Your smart list include my day which displays tasks you need to start today. In case you have some incomplete tasks for the previous day, 
those go under the light bulb icon if you want to add them to your day. You also have important that displays your start tasks. You have planned which shows tasks with due dates or reminders. Assigned to me are tasks assigned to you by those you are collaborating with. Tasks shows those tasks that are not in a list. These smart lists are very logical and intuitive. Below this smart list, you then get your own list and groups that you create in the app. The app has some basic settings. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.